I'm Jason Bunio. I'm a Relay Applications Engineer with Megger, and I'm going to show you the SMRT36 and the SMRT1 with the STBI. On the table here, we have the uh, SMRT36, the SMRT1, and the TBI is what controls both units. The Smart 36 is the latest and greatest relay test set that Megger has produced. It is, after our previous generation of MPRT and Pulsar units, the smallest and most powerful unit on the market today. It's three channels, has three input currents, three voltages, and the output current is rated at 60 amps. The output current on the single phase unit is 60 amps. The voltages can now put 300 volts AC or DC and can be converted into a current channel. The maximum output current from the converted channel is 15 amps. Also, the Smart 36 and the Smart 1 can work together, as shown here on the STBI. Through the Ethernet ports, we can make a daisy chain connection where we have a primary test unit controlling the secondary. So on the STBI here, you can see we can control all four channels at the same time through this Ethernet link. The maximum amount of channels that can be controlled by the STBI at once is either three Smart 36s or nine Smart 1s or a combination thereof. And you can see here, this is the main screen for the STBI interface. We have our voltages and our currents, and it's very easy to manipulate uh, the quantities that you need. So if I need 120 volts, per phase, I hit the balance button, it puts in a three phase voltage, current say I need five amps, across all three phases, hit balance, I get five amps, and say I need it at a balance line angle of 80 degrees. I can also hit balance, and you can see the vector relationships maintain 120 degrees separation. All these channels are on by the green buttons here, and I turn on the master on switch, and you can see the currents and the voltages have turned on in the test sets. I can turn them off. From the main screen, you can do timing. You can ramp quantities. So if I need to ramp the first current, I can include in a ramping channel. And right here, in a smaller font, you can see the increment by which I can ramp the, the current or the voltage. If I select the dial icon, I can change that increment. And I can select multiple channels and either ramp the amplitude, the phase, the frequency, or on the front here of the Smart 36, I can ramp the voltage of the battery simulator. So now I've selected all the currents, three of them. and it's very easy to ramp and apply 10 amps. <clears throat> we also have many different screens on the STBI. We have a state sequence screen where up to nine states can be played to uh, simulate reclose or do end-to-end -end testing. We also have an automatic ramp screen which can ramp any of the quantities, phase angle, frequency, or amplitudes for voltage or current. And then we also have the time over current screen, which is a great use for distribution relays. On the time over current screen, I can select the type of time over current curve that I need, and there's already hundreds of curves built in into the STBI. So if I want to select, say, a Westinghouse curve, I select Westinghouse, the relay model. I can select the CO relay. And say I want to do, test a CO9. I hit OK. Pickup. Let's say it's a 5 amp pickup. And the time dial will leave at 3. And then voila. Here we have a CO9 curve, the time dial of 3. Also, we've added the functionality 
of testing line distance relays straight from the STVI interface. So if I go to a generic characteristic, select a Mo circle, I can put in the reach, angle, offset, each of the zones of protection, the type of fault I'm going to apply, hit OK, and then select the points that I need to test. Here's my test point. The currents and voltages will ramp in until the characteristic picks up, and I've tested my distance relay. So this has been a brief overview of the Smart 36 and the Smart 1. And you can visit us at Distributech at booth 4355. Make sure to look for the mega booth. Thank you very much.